This is a video on my 2013 Jeep Wrangler JK Unlimited Sahara. So I'm doing a review for the 100,000 miles. Right now it is 11 years old. This is July of 2024. Figured I'd make this video because sometimes Jeeps and Wranglers get a bad rap for reliability. And I have had no issues with this vehicle really. Uh, there are some nagging things, the heater core issue that a lot of these have. Uh, I've had to flush it a lot. Um, and it doesn't, with that, if it gets plugged up, it doesn't give you heat on the driver's side. Really hot heat. So little things, but the reliability of this uh, Jeep has been really good. This is my third JK that I've owned and my fourth Wrangler overall. Uh, the others had no issues like this um, with the... Uh, with the heater or any kind of plugging of the heater core. As you can see, I do have a powder coated front bumper. That's a Rubicon 10th anniversary bumper with a 12,000 pound Badland winch. I do have uh, JKS uh, suspension parts in the front, the sway bar parts, and then Fox shocks. This is a daily driver, so it does see uh, the inside of a steel mill. Um, every summer I try to kind of clean and do a good job on the frame, um, paint it and uh, coat it so that way I, hopefully it'll last me a long time. Um, the underneath is looking really good. The interior, as you can see, is holding up well. Both front and back seats. Uh, it is a Sahara model, so it does have the Sahara heat seats in there. Um, I do have 35-inch tires and a lift on the Jeep. The one area that it is rusting quite a bit is where the gas tank is held onto the frame, right there. Um, so i got to watch that. But other than that, I think the frame and the rusting is really good. So hopefully I can uh, keep that under control because I am in northern Indiana. So it does see salt for the winters. Um, all the interiors cupped up. I do have the Jeep uh, floor mat there in the back. Um, it is used for some of my work on uh, any side jobs. So it does get used a lot. This isn't just sitting in the garage. Um, it has seen some off-road, but not much as it is my daily driver. Um, so minor off-road um, four-wheel drive situations. There's your Fox shocks. The Fox shots are awesome. Um, I can drive on the highway 75, 80 miles an hour, and it's very, it's a, it's a stable vehicle. Um, there's the front end. The powder coating is about two, two years old now um, with about 20,000 miles on it or so. So I did upgrade the Pioneer um, stereo system. So it connects to the, the phone nicely. I do have the white trim. That was easy to put on. It looks kind of cool with the white car. Um, I do currently have a check engine light on. Uh, it needs uh, an oil pressure sensor. Um, I usually do most of the maintenance myself, but I am going to uh, take that in. It seems like a pretty, a little bit bigger job than I want to tackle. And then my um, tire sensor has been on for years and years. Um, I do is just look at the display to make sure all the tires are good, but that's been on forever. So hopefully one day I'll go in and get the tires worked on and have that fixed. I will start the car. Um, it doesn't have the, really that tick that a lot of the JKs have in this time frame. Um, so I will not really talk then and, and you can listen to the engine. If I were buying another JK, I would definitely um, try the the heat in the winter and uh, make sure you're getting good heat on the passenger side because they have these heater cores getting plugged um, and some cool some cooling issues. Um, so that's one thing I would I would look at. I did have the radiator fan um, changed. 
a couple of years ago, so that's worked out. Uh, here's some pictures of the Jeep uh, throughout the years. I did take the hinges off just because they were rusting. Uh, that's a common uh, thing with the JKs. That's been about three years, and I do have to um, touch up some of the hinges are starting to get rusty again, but they were really bad when I uh, when I took them off, so they're, they're holding up pretty good. Um, just some shots of my Jeep. Uh, that's when I was putting on the winch. Uh, the winch is held up good. I don't use it too often, but it's a good winch when I um, when I have used it. It was nice. I just got the Rubicon bumper off of Amazon. That was that worked out really good. Um, it cost I think three hundred to four hundred to powder coat it. So overall, the Jeep has been a very reliable vehicle for me. Um, I hope that continues. I try to keep up with the real rust and everything. And hopefully have it for, for a long time. Um, but if you're looking for a JK, I would just make sure to really check the, the cooling system. They do overheat and run a little hotter than other vehicles. Then take it on the highway and make sure it is stable on the highway at higher speeds. Um, recently, I did go to a synthetic oil, a high mileage um, oil. So that's uh, been good. And you can just see, I don't take it off the road often, but um, when you do, the mud is horrible to get off. I'd much rather go on sand. This is just minor off-roading in Michigan. And then I have been to Silver Lake with it, um, which is pictured here. So, of course, in the winter, it's a great, it's a great vehicle. Summer and winter, your Jeeps are, are the best vehicles for all seasons, really. I mean, you either love or hate them. But they're such great vehicles and such fun vehicles to drive. As I said, I've owned four Wranglers now. Um, they've all been good vehicles for me. They don't come with no issues. It's not a Toyota Camry that you're going to buy and have it for 150,000 miles with no issues. But none of my Jeeps have ever had major issues and um, have huge problems with them. They've all had minor issues that I take care of myself. And... As my life changes or I needed to sell a vehicle, they've always been the best resale value out there. Um, I would put a lot of miles on and still get a really good um, resale value on all of them. Hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel.